I'm Barbara Veneer, and I'm the president of Chesapeake College, and I live in Easton. And our enrollment is probably up about 20% overall. We've had a slight decline now, but we were up almost 30% over several years because in a bad economy, people come to community colleges. And so everyone's working harder, and our classes are bigger, and uh, we have more financial aid applications, more registration. Every part of the campus is touched by an increase in enrollment. Whether I'm in Annapolis asking the state to fund us, or I'm at the, one of the five county budget hearings making a case for us there, or I'm meeting with private individuals. And increasingly, that's part of a community college president's job. Uh, there was a time when we were either publicly funded or certainly majority publicly funded, and that's just slipping and slipping. And uh, the ideal in a structure like ours is, is one-third state, one-third, excuse me, one-third county, one-third student tuition. We're now closer to 40 percent student tuition, less than a third for each of the public sources. And in order not to put too much of a burden on the students, you try and raise the money privately. We do two things uh, together, and one is to renovate our uh, physical education pool building, do away with the pool. and. Um, we're not building the Washington College Athletic Center, I wish we were, but just renovate the gym. The uh, heating and ventilation systems are 44 years old and they're falling apart. The floor is no longer safe. The locker rooms are embarrassing. It's time to renovate that building. At the same time, our nursing and allied health programs that are located at the Memorial Hospital in Easton, uh, they outgrew that space probably five years ago. And even then, the hospital realized that they, too, were outgrowing their space. And so it, it's not in anyone's best interest to renovate there. And we want to bring those programs here by adding on to the pool and phys ed project. And we have $27 million committed by the state. We need $9 million, all five counties combined. And right now, I would say that building is at risk, that times are so bad. Um, if the pension liabilities are shifted to the counties, that will increase their burden. They have been cut drastically. Uh, we're doing everything we can. We need three out of the five counties. And um, I look at it and say, how could you say no? I mean, our, our nursing and allied health programs are at risk. And there's not a facility on the Eastern Shore or doctor's office uh, that doesn't rely on our graduates. Business people want good health care here. They recognize it. It would bring, for the life of the project, which is four years, about 400 jobs. Um, and then we're not a drain. You know, some development projects then require counties to build schools and provide services. We're just adding on to a building that exists, no new services, no drain on resources. I, I think it just makes perfect sense. And um, uh, I'll let you know in June how we did. Yeah, I was going to say, there's, is there a terminal deadline? It's, yes, because the money has to be encumbered in fiscal 13. And so if we don't get approval to do that now, by June 30th, then it's gone. So then we lose the state money, and we have to start all over again. Could be, you know, and the other issue is the state has cut back on its investment in community college capital projects. I think about three or four years ago it was 84 million. This year it's 37. So to get back in the queue with 15 other colleges and worry that we might may or may not be a priority, and then even if we are, how much money will they allocate? The time is really now. And I know that the counties are very supportive conceptually. It, it comes down to setting their own priorities with very, very limited resources. And, and I understand that.